everyone, Adventures with Anna again today. Um, today I have a crochet project that I am working on. If you ever had that experience where you sat down in a chair close to your yarn stash and some yarn just like jumped out of your stash and onto your crochet hook or knitting needles and a project just started happening, uh, that kind of happened to me last night. Um, nothing really new, I've done it before but I did have to go look at the instructions on how to do it. Uh, what I actually have here, I've already, like I said, I've already started the project because I'm really awkward and messy when I start these projects and I didn't want to look kind of awkward and messy showing you guys my project. But this is a quick, uh, simple project that I don't really have to think about what I'm doing for the most part. It doesn't take a whole lot of yarn. I don't think it does anyway, but anyway, what I have here if you can see is a double ended crochet hook. There's a hook on both ends. Honestly, I wish this was a little bit shorter, but this is what was given to me, so I'm not gonna complain. I will use it, it should work just fine. I've actually started a, this is gonna be a hat that I'm going to take to the church that I attend, which once a month they host a clothing exchange, which they give away clothing free to the community and anyone who needs clothing or just wants a change in wardrobe, they do accept donations, everything is free. They don't charge for the clothing or anything. They also help the community and participate in the, I guess some areas call it the Coats for Kids. I don't think that's what our community calls it, but that's basically what it is. The local assistance center will send families out to our church who need to have warm winter coats for their kids or even for the adults in the families. My church will take names and information and give these family free coats. A lot of the coats have been donated to the church for this cause and some coats we do accept donations for that and uh, go up buy brand new coats. Well, along with those coats, a lot of times they're going to need stocking hats, right? And this, since I like Tunisian crochet, this is a Tunisian in the round stocking cap, and it's actually hopefully going to be child size. I've measured it, and the circumference should be approximately 16 inches, so I'm guessing, you know, small child size. But if you can see, well, let me get my yarn here. It's kind of a, a mint green. It actually looks kind of gray on the picture, but it's actually a mint green with a little pink line going through it and my second color is white. I'm not a white person. I do not like white. I don't know why it jumped out of the box but apparently it looks pretty good together. And the way this works is you start out with your chain stitch however many you want to make your circle to be and I just you can see where I stood my I joined my chain here. It just kind of looks kind of awkward weird a little bit but that's fine but you just join your chain and you just keep going around how does that work with a Tunisian stitch which if you notice this is a simple Tunisian you got your lines and your stitch running through it well with Tunisian you go forward and back forward and back that is one stitch when you go forward and then you come back with the stitch well when you work with Tunisian in the round you start, and I'm going to show you what I got here. You do your loops like you normally would with your main color, which for me, that's the green here. Hopefully I can do this backwards. And then you take your second color, and when you attach it on, I just make a slip stitch and put it on my hook and just pull it through and just continue on with the regular return stitch, only you're going right along with your pattern. So your simple Tunisian and your return stitch are both going the same direction. It's not going back and forth, back and forth. This makes a seamless hat or bag or whatever you're making. Like I said, you can see where my stitch marker is. That's where it started. This is a complete circle. So when you, with your, um, oh, I got my yarn twisted. With your secondary color, which will be your return stitch color, all you do is like I said, I'm doing this backwards. You just take it like you would a normal return stitch, only you're following right along those stitches that are already on your hook. 
See, it's getting shorter. You're just following right along with those stitches. I guess you can't see because I have it off camera. There, now you can see it. Just pull through one all the way until you have one or two stitches left of your primary color. And now I don't think I can do the primary color where you can see it as well as you can do this because here I'll just leave it here. See I've got this is my return stitch these are my primary stitches. Now what I'm going to do is hopefully I can do this where you can see it with my primary color just like you would with simple Tunisian stitch you're going to go through and pull up a loop go through pull up a loop go through that that bar pull up a loop just like you would with your regular Tunisian like I said this is going to be a hat I will probably get it finished probably tonight if not sometime this week guarantee you I will be showing it to you on Monday when I show you my projects that I'm currently working on or have finished for the week. Um, I'm kind of excited. I got a lot of extra yarn like I've mentioned. It didn't cost me anything. I figure I might as well use it and give back to the community because someone has given to me. So I hope to make some different size hats for you know kids and adult size hats. I don't know if they'll all be this way. I might try knitting one. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Um, Another thing for me, not all projects look good crocheted, I don't think. Crocheted hats are okay, but in my opinion, they're not real warm. Knitted hats look really cool. I think hats should be knitted, actually. Um, and knitted hats do tend to be a little bit warmer, in my opinion, than a crocheted hat. These Tunisian hats, like this, uh, this is... The first one I've actually done in the round, I have done this pattern, I did make a purse in the round when I first discovered this, but I have made several Tunisian crochet hats last winter that I gave away as gifts and they are quite warm. The individuals actually like them and a couple of them have asked for me to make them another hat. So this is today's project, Tunisian in the round, the yarn just jumped out of my basket onto my hook and the project started last night and I'm really looking forward to getting it done. Maybe one of these days I'll show you how I get this started but in the meantime I will put a link in the description with the video that I first discovered for Tunisian in the Round so if you want to give it a try go ahead leave me a comment give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and check back with me tomorrow.